All right, welcome to another episode from The Chart Reader. So we will be doing a good AI sector review, looking at NVIDIA, Palantir, C3 AI, and then SoundHound. So the NVIDIA chart that we're looking at right here actually does surprise me, okay? And and more than anything, it has less to do with Wednesday because, you know, I've, I've been talking about Wednesday across every single ticker, right? But I'm surprised Thursday and Friday didn't do a little better. And I'll, I'll talk about that going into next week. But holding moving averages is obviously always a good thing, right? Palantir. Palantir, I sincerely believe, is a really important knowledge center moment, okay? Palantir, even if you have no money in it, I think you should watch it because it's a good, put it in your back pocket and it might help you on a different stock one day, okay? Um, C3 AI, man, I actually thought that thing was about to rip and run. I really, really did. I almost bought in, but I didn't and I'll tell you guys why. It's basically a resistance that seemingly stopped it. And then SoundHound, yeah, I've been talking about SoundHound pretty regularly from the group right here, but before we go any further and I give you more of my thoughts and opinions, what are we gonna do? Same thing we always do. Do, right we'll take a look at the daily and the weekly to see how these things are setting up short term we have our five moving averages there are horizontal support and resistance lines that i do draw manually myself and then when we are done up here we'll use the macd rsi and volume as our lower indicators Hey, really quickly, if you can please subscribe to this channel, share this video online with your friends, comment good or bad. Look, anything you can do helps me so, so much with these YouTube algorithms, but for real, just being here and giving me your time is so, so appreciated. All right, so let's get into NVIDIA and you know, there's a bunch of different things I want to talk about. I'm obviously going to talk about this 50 and 100 moving average moment right here. It's been a while since I've covered this, right? Um, but I, I really, really want to talk about Thursday and Friday. Thursday and Friday really surprised me, okay? Because Wednesday, Wednesday was bad. I want to say on like 90, 95%. Oh, sorry. I got a hair in my mouth. Sorry about that. Um, it, Wednesday was bad for like 90, 95% of the stocks out there, right? Because not only did we see bad on NASDAQ, that's the Wednesday candle, but we also saw bad on S&P 500, same bad candle, and the DJ30, same bad candle. So Wednesday across everyone was a scary day, okay? And yeah, that makes sense to me, because again, even a, st look, I I cover a lot of really silly tickers, okay? I do. I, I I have no problem admitting that, right? Like I just covered FNGR like on on yesterday's, right? Like Nvidia is a real stock. Nvidia is $500 for a reason. Nvidia went from one something to four something for a reason like uh, this is a real stock, okay, 100% right there. But even real stocks are going to get hurt when when all the markets go down, okay? Just that that doesn't only apply to the little silly ones, right? So this actually for sure makes sense. What bothers me, what bothers me is Nasdaq actually had a decent Thursday and Friday. Now it wasn't a great Thursday and Friday, but it recovered very, very nicely from this Wednesday. And hey, Friday obviously was a little doji. None of the two Thursday or Friday days was a big candle, but lo and behold, we're actually above. We like, look, this thing opens at 14.973. That's the second number right there. We're at 14.99. All right, so we actually are well, I don't wanna say well over, but we're over it by 20 bucks at least, right? Like we are over that entire scary Wednesday on the NASDAQ, okay, NVDA. That's not the case here. And that bothers me, I'm not gonna lie. Like to me, okay, cause especially a company like Nvidia, NASDAQ is, is it like, okay, Obviously, there are a number of, of tech stocks in NASDAQ. Microsoft is a really important one, right? Like Oracle might be, like now I'm kind of stretching because you know, I, I don't know, I'm not that fundamental a guy, right? But NVIDIA is a very, very, very substantial part of NASDAQ. I don't want to say it's like the number one because like, yeah, there's probably market cap stuff, I don't know, and stuff like that. But like, 
when I think of the NASDAQ, when I think of a, of, of a single stock that's probably going to move that, you know, I'm thinking Amazon, I'm thinking Microsoft, I'm thinking NVIDIA. And I am shocked that we're not right here. I am shocked that the, the NASDAQ was able to get over all of Wednesday we're pretty much sitting at only half of Wednesday. That, it, again, it bought like, am I ringing the bell saying, oh, that's it, this is horrible, blah, blah, blah. No, 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 but not by any means, right? Like, we are well over most of the moving averages. We're kind of still bouncing on an eight that's going up. There's 20, like, there are way more good than bad on this thing, right? But for me, again, it's just a little disconnected that NASDAQ's over the Wednesday and NVIDIA, like I said, is just holding half, for lack of words, half of Wednesday, right? So what am I looking for? I'm looking for more harmony, that's for sure, right? Like I'm expecting to come up to like 495 come Monday, right? I like that the MACD is positive. I like that the RSI is at a very healthy 60 something. It wasn't that long ago we were in the 90s. So hey, even just getting to the 80s would be good. And hey, overall volume could be a little better. And I think that kind of represents this little horizontal movement that we've been having, right? But not that many days are breaking that 50 average line, all right? Again, the average of the last 50 days is nothing more than a C on an ABCDF report card, right? Like this is the top of the bell curve. This is the most average of the average, right? And yeah, we can't even like smash average. That's, that's a little disappointing, right? But again, I see more good than bad. I am very glad that these two lines held, right? Because that is like, it's very hard to break two lines up. It should be very hard to lose two lines down. And it did the job, right? We went from what, four something? Yeah, 450, almost touching, actually passing five, right? So beautiful little recovery right there. But look, overall, I am seeing more good than bad. Like I said, it should be very, very hard for this thing to go lower than 477. I, it, it looks like it is, again, riding the eight and the 20 going up. Make sure you watch NASDAQ, okay? Because NASDAQ, not quite at the all-time highs like we're seeing, because Dow Jones is pushing all-time highs. There is nothing higher than that purple line. Like that, that like you can see it on the weekly evening, like that was the line, right? And we're clearly over it. So um, NASDAQ's doing well, it's not pushing the all-time highs, but if, if NASDAQ keeps going, so will NVIDIA, okay? Um, did I look at the weekly? I don't think so. Yeah, again, if you're over all the moving averages on the daily, you're gonna be over all the moving averages on the weekly, right? So yeah, MACD's positive, still a healthy RSI. Just missing some volume is really, I think, the, the theme across both. Hey, let me know your thoughts and opinions if you disagree. Otherwise, let's come into Palantir. So Palantir, okay, listen. One thing I often talk about is the eight and the 20. Okay, and generally the rule is you bounce on the eight. If you lose the eight, you use the 20 to take you back over and hopefully keep going up, okay? What's difficult is the, excuse me, what's difficult is the other way around. When you're trying to use the eight to bounce you over the 20, it, oh, excuse me, I'm hiccuping. It almost doesn't happen. It, it, it really, really almost doesn't happen. Mavis is a, is a simple one I remember talking about. There was this little moment right here where it looked like it was gonna do it, this moment right here where it looked like it was gonna do it, one right here where it looked like it was gonna do it. It's hard. It lo and look, you can see it, Palantir, I'm sorry, Mavis had just come up a big run, lost it and theoretically should have recovered, right? When you look at Palantir, I mean, obviously the run wasn't that big, but that's a good run right there from 14 to 21. That's a 50% run right there, right? And you make a good run, you seemingly slip it real quick. What seems like it should have recovered there doesn't. And it really is because it's hard to get the eight to take you over the 20. It's the 20 that takes you over the eight, all right? So just put that in your back pocket. But yeah, again, kind of the same NVIDIA thoughts, right? Like, Sorry, I froze right there a little bit. NASDAQ is going up, 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 up. What's Palantir doing? It's actually going down, 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 down. And you can kind of save horizontal, but like, mm, right? And again, that's that's 
I love these moving averages, right? Because again, when NASDAQ goes up, my first thought's gonna be Palantir has to go up too. When you can't break moving averages, you can't expect to go up, right? So um, yeah, this one is definitely a little funky. This one, I'm very shocked that, like I said, NASDAQ kept going up, 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 and this thing kept going down, 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 right? So um, to me, this one was a very much a moving average play. It was, right? Like this one, I'm telling you, I'm... I, I'm going in a circle here. I'm a little shocked that the way this one does look, right? But is what it is, man. I'm telling you, I love these little colorful lines. I really do. The weekly doesn't look that bad, but the weekly is actually coming to an important test. If we lose this 1660 line, that's roughly speaking, it's lose like 1680, 1690 is that 20 average, right? The orange number in the box over there. If we lose that, it actually could be a very, very quick fall down to like 14 something, if not coming as low into like that 1350 range. So Palantir, and again, same volume issues that NVIDIA had. The only problem was at least NVIDIA was doing better with the moving averages, right? So not a pretty Palantir chart to say the least, all right? So um, again, 1660 is important on the weekly. It's going to be important on the daily. Like this, this 100 move, I actually think that lines up almost perfectly. 1682 was that? Weren't you 1680 something? Yeah, 1686. That's that's 16, 1680 is the bounce line. If it doesn't bounce by 1680, that could get a little scary for Palantir. All right. Let me know your thoughts and opinions if you disagree. Otherwise, I don't remember the last time I covered C3 AI, but I will be honest with you. I've I've been having eyes on this on the personal side, right? Why? Look at it. If we can, you know that it break all five lines, break all five and fly, okay? And we were trying, we were trying to go up, 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 we actually kind of went up, but man, the issue here has been confirmation, right? I don't care about one good candle, I need the follow through, didn't happen. I don't care about one good candle, I need the follow through, didn't happen. I don't care that this good candle was the day after the doji, I need follow through, right? And AI, C3 AI has just been struggling to get out of the 100 moving average and more than anything, it's been struggling to get out of this cluster. There are all five lines, basically like a stone's throw away from each other, right? And what happens is you go up, you go down, you go up, you go down. I call this thing a tornado because you never know if it's gonna suck you in and out. And even when it looks like you're on your way to escaping, it somehow just brings you back in. You know what I mean? So I am not the biggest fan when all five lines are this tight, but I was hoping it was going to break this. And I mean, you can see it, right? Just green, 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 red, 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 green, 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 red, 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 green, 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 red, 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 red. There's a beautiful channel between 33 and 43. That's a beautiful 33% move. If we can escape the lines, we'll get to that and we'll get to that. But remember, it's hard. It's hard to escape when all the line, it's hard to escape when only three of them are this tight, let alone when four of them are this tight, let alone when all five are this tight, right? So I'm just kind of imagining a lot of tornado, a lot of up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down until we kind of see the truth. You know what I mean? So hopefully NASDAQ keeps going up. Hopefully that can kind of help this thing right here. But man, this one's been close. This one's been setting up, but yeah, it just, it couldn't make the rip that I was looking for. Again, if the daily has a bunch of them stacked together, you can imagine the weekly has a bunch stacked. And this one has three right here. Again, I, I literally just said it like less than a minute ago. Even three stacked up is very, very difficult. It is for sure something I call a cluster, right? So yeah, just too many lines. That, that that's, that's what it is. There are too many moving averages too close to each other. And um, again, volume, right? Just volume hasn't been there. So yeah. Um, yeah, I think those are my C3 AI thoughts. Let me know if you agree or disagree. Otherwise, let's come in to Soundhound. And my goodness, right? It's, it, it's a little disappointing because literally, literally the last video I made on Soundhound was, hey, I think we've escaped the 100 moving average. And lo and behold, where are we? We are back on the 100 moving average, right? So what's the story been? Look, again, it has been a very 
very, very, very long time since we've touched this line. I even say this one kind of doesn't count because we really just fall through it like a hot knife through butter, right? So like this was kind of the last real moment we touched the that 100 moving average, that blue line right there, June early June even, we're in late December, right? So this 100 moving line is no, no joke, okay? One thing I was talking about was an oscillation around that line. Again, oscillation just, just means doing that, right? Like the crazy, like a snake up and down. And that's what I was seeing. We were going above the 100, we were going below the 100. We were going above the 100, we were going below the 100. We then went above the 100 and I was kind of hoping that maybe we've escaped the orbit. Maybe we're actually starting to use the eight and the twenty to take us. It was it was the exact same thoughts I had with Mavis, right? Mavis was going up, Mavis was going down, Mavis was going up. Mavis kind of held, staying away a little bit more. I don't know what's going to happen there, and this is obviously not a, a Mavis discussion, right? But I thought this was going to take the orbit. I'm now not sure of that anymore, right? And seemingly it looks like we're gonna kind of do this same oscillation, right? Like we went up, we went down, we went up, seems like we're going down. It still seems like Soundhound is completely at the mercy of the 100 moving out. The 100 is a hard, the 50 is a hard line when you haven't broke it, right? So you got to imagine that the 100 is even harder. And then obviously the 200 is its own little beast, right? Which we'll talk about a little bit later once we get closer to it, right? But um this 28 line i i I'm, the 214 line is what i think i thought was going to be a little bit stronger but yeah i mean at this point we're we're I, yeah i think the whole story is the 100 i think the one thing that i like about the 100 is we're no longer steep 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 dropping okay we're at least going relatively horizontal with the line right so hey if the 100 is going to still be the thing that we're at the mercy of I would much rather be going, well, obviously I want it to go up and we ride it, right? But hey, I'll take a horizontal line way more than a very steep downtrend, right? So um, look, the 100 is a place where we could bounce up. The 50 is a place where we could bounce up. What's now starting to happen is we're getting a cluster of four lines. There's obviously three very tight right there. This one's not that far from it, right? So maybe this is going to be the the thing that ping pongs us right you know there's one comment that someone said look i don't like horizontal trading because i like stocks that go up 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 right like that that's what we're here for right there is a lot of easy money to be made if you know this is the top and this is the bottom this is the top this is the bot like you can buy and sell at the high low high low and just crush the oscillation right so different strategies for different things right me I'm a little bit of a crackhead gambler, right? Like I get my fix seeing all these green candles go up, 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 right? So um, yeah, when I say I don't like horizontal, that's why, but yeah, for real, you can take some real good advantage when it looks like this, all right? But yeah, listen, we cannot, we cannot lose the 50 moving average because the other lines, the last thing we wanna do is slip below and die. Wasn't that long ago, we actually just kinda of did that, right? So we really, really wanna hold the 50. We obviously are trying to get as close to this and if not higher, right? But um, yeah, Soundhound, I think it's still a little bit too much about that 100 moving average. I would much rather it not be. Where are we? Yeah, I mean, again, same kind of comments, right? When you have clusters on the daily, you're gonna have clusters on the weekly. I don't think there's too, too much extra to, to actually look at here so um yeah let me know your thoughts and opinions even if you disagree you know that otherwise you know i appreciate you thank you thank you